What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So if I'm being completely honest with you, this is not video worthy what I'm about to talk about and I don't care that much about it. I'm really using this because one, I haven't made a video all week and I think even last week I haven't made a video and I kind of use this and look at this as a BG was right moment. So there's like a, a halo event going on right now or some shit like that. Um, and they've announced that a third person mode is coming to Halo Infinite this November. Anybody who's familiar with me and known me long enough knows that I am a third person evangelist and I spread the third person gospel. And I believe third person games was the way that God intended us to play games, right? It's, it's, it's the truth, the light in the way. Right. I've, I've been preaching that for a long time. I believe that third person games are inherently better than first person. And most games, once they go to third person, automatically become a better game with exception. There's like a few exceptions of that. Right. Like Bioshock, Battlefield. Those are like two first person games, first person shooters that I can think of that I would want them to stay exactly how they are. I would never want them in third person, but the majority of games, I believe, and look, I made this argument and I've argued this to many people. We've done this on weapon wheel that third person games are the most popular games. There's a reason it's not a, like a random arbitrary happenstance thing that most of the games that are released are in third person. Most of the games that like you don't usually see like games like first first person games usually aren't anymore and like, you know, nominated for game of the year or aren't in a bunch of like categories. Third person games just lay out the the landscape to be more mechanically richer, story richer. Uh, they just work better in 99 percent of circumstances. Right. And what you've seen is a lot of first person games get a third person mode. You usually don't see many and it has happened, but you usually don't see a lot of third person games get a first person mode. It does. It usually only goes one way. And a lot of the times when you see a third person game get a first person mode, a lot of the time that be mods. That'd be mods from, from just from like the, the PC community. Um, GTA is an example. They, you know, w with that rock star, the actual developer actually put in a first person mode. But like I said, it doesn't usually happen that way a lot of the times. It happens the reverse because third person mode, a third person viewing angle is just the best angle to play at. Specifically in multiplayer, one of the reasons why it's better if we're specifically talking about the multiplayer landscape is because of cosmetics. People want to see what the hell they are wearing, right? That is a huge just market in online gaming is the cosmetics is the ability to see what you're wearing. And that's a cool part of it. What the hell is the point of buying a cosmetic and only everybody else can see it? You can't actually see what you're wearing. You can't see, you know, that that fly shit you got on. If you got that shit on, you can't see it. Like, yeah, you got to you're using your imagination that everybody else is seeing it, but you can't see it. You can't see the drip. That's a big deal. I just need people to stop arguing with me that third person is not the truth, the light and the way. It, there is a reason why the majority of the industry makes games in, in third person, right? Early on in game in, in like much earlier generations, there might have been a point where there is like an, an, an even balance of first person games and third person games coming out, right? But as the generations go further and further along, the gap widens to where Listen, I would argue right now, like triple A, double A, indie. I mean, look at look look at the landscape. What is it? 80, 90% of games that come out are 
are third person shooters. I mean, hell, they 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 literally call a lot of first person shooters now boomer shooters. Like they they just don't cater to a lot of things. First person shooters just don't cater to a lot of things, a lot of mechanics and a lot of play styles that uh that you need your game to do in 2024 in the modern era it just doesn't happen it, it's it's really listen i i hate to say it but first person is kind of archaic all right it, it, it's kind of the dinosaurs it's it's kind of went went the, went the way uh, it, it's it's like some ice age shit that ain't that ain't the new popping thing no more i'm just, you, you you gotta get with the times like I, I i'm sure there's like a study and metrics that point to listen if you make your game in third person versus first person you there's like a degree of success you know that that you have depending on what you choose it's just the facts people get mad at me and i've been telling people this for a long time listen it is what it is third person is the the truth the light in the way it's just it's just better bro like i said there are exceptions but there's a reason for it listen indiana jones i've been saying listen that indiana jones game looks ass to me and one of the reasons it looks ass or mid is because let's be real. The there there are a lot of people in denial about that game, but in their deepest in their deepest recesses of their mind and when they go to sleep at night, they know Indiana Jones game, that shit should be in third person. The entire thing. Not when he just jumps on a rope or some shit or in certain circumstances. They know the whole goddamn thing should be in third person. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. And I hate when y'all try to fight against it and argue. Y'all know when a game should be in third person. You're like, no, it's a bullshit. Y'all know what's going on out here, man. And y'all, y'all, y'all know what's better. And listen, there's a lot of people that are going to be in denial about the whole. Listen, and, and let's let's be clear. What 343 is doing with Halo with this with this third person mode. Oh, you're going to see more of that in the future. This is th- this is not going to be a one off. This is not going to be a one off. This isn't going to just just stay as a mode and you're never going to see it again. Oh, oh, this is this is the future. This is the future. Best believe this is the future. OK. I mean, <laughs> I just sent the 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 video of uh, uh um, Halo in third person, the video on Twitter to, to, to the group chat. Bond is like, what the fuck is this shit? Ah, uh, he bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, listen, the, the, one of the most popular games, most of the most popular games are in third person. I mean, Fortnite, I mean, it is what it is, bro. I mean, yeah, like, come on, bro. Come on. You, 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 y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Of course, yes, you have your Call of Duties. You have your, your Valorants. You have your, um, What's the other fucking shit? I don't, I don't, I don't like that that Titanfall spinoff. Yeah, that that shit. So yeah, you got you got your first person heavy hitters. I'm not denying that they out there and they're among the very popular games. But third person dominates the industry. It is facts. Y'all got to accept it. It is the future. And I'm with it. Listen, I'm and I'm not saying I'm about to like get into halo again like this is gonna make me start playing infinite a whole lot more i'll try out the third person mode don't get me i'll try it out will it get me to start playing halo again every day probably not i i doubt that but is it a i'm not even gonna say that it's gonna be a better game in third person the reason i'm not gonna say that right in this situation is because a lot of times when a game isn't built from the very beginning to be that sometimes it doesn't play the best right if if halo from like the very first game from its its conception was like meant and and built for third person then i believe it would be better in third person because they would have designed certain things around it the movement the shoot all that but what they're really doing here is really just moving the camera back so there may be a little bit of awkwardness that comes with that. So I'm not going to say in this instance it's going to be vastly better, but you get what I'm saying. If it was built for this, then it would be better. Um, so yeah, uh, 
I, and I thought this was a fake. I thought this was fake. Right. When I when I seen it, I was like, oh, look at this bullshit. Like these trolls with their fake posting on Twitter. And I had to, I had to double back. I was like, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. That shit got a check mark next to it. And that says that literally just says the Halo account. And I, and I had to click into it. Then I had to click out of it. I was like, oh, that's 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 real shit. That, that's 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 the real deal. Holy field. So interesting stuff. Um, don't, like I said, don't be fooled. This, this means something. And this is, uh, the writing's on the wall. The writing is on the, and you know, Halo really needs a, it, it needs a jolt. It, it, it needs some type of, uh, something to really revive it, um, to rejuvenate it. To bring it back to life. And I'm not saying this is going to be it. I'm not going to say I'm not saying this is enough to bring Halo Infinite back to life. But. Like I said, the future. Look forward to the future. Um, Not saying they were they're going to completely abandon first person. But listen, one of the things that are that is really like held Halo back is the OGs, the purest have not allowed Halo to Halo to grow because they believed Halo should be this and you shouldn't be able to do none of these other things, none of these abilities and all. Y- y'all know the Halo purists. They want Halo right now in 2024 to still play like Halo 1 like from two and a half decades ago. And that doesn't help Halo thrive and continue to be a successful franchise because you old ass niggas don't matter no more. You got to do something to, you got to make some changes for the newer generation to care about Halo. Because the newer generation, um, when they pick up Halo, like I, I keep saying this, when they play Halo, their thought is, why does this game even play like this? Halo is one of those games that doesn't play like anything else. So, and the newer generation is like, bro, this, this shit plays different than everything else. To, so to them, there's a huge demographic that thinks, oh, this shit is ass. Why does it play like this? Why does it move like this? Why does it shoot like this? This is awkward. This is weird. They're going to have to make some changes if they're going to survive. They can't just keep being Halo. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. And listen, I understand y'all pain because as somebody who has franchises that I've been with since the very first I can understand there's certain changes that I don't I don't like. And I'm like, yo, forget these w- new weirdos. They don't know. They they not OGs. They wasn't here. They wasn't here with us shooting in the gym from the first game. They wasn't with us, you know, in the back of the car, you know, in, in car seats and in, in, from kindergarten. They don't matter. I'm the OG. I matter. But at the same time, listen, you. Things got to change and you got to adapt. So. That's all I really got to say. Um, I, I, I've been looking through the thread and some a lot of the, the die hardcore Halo fans are not happy about it. They're like, man, what, what is this shit? No, this ain't Halo. Halo is dead. <sighs> man, listen, change, change got to come, man. You got to change and adapt. And the industry is is different. Um, so, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this mode. Um, Shout out to Halo for giving me something to talk about. It's dry out here. By the way, we're probably going to be playing Among Us this Sunday on Weapon Wheel. Probably won't be a Weapon Wheel podcast. Not that much to talk about this week has been dry. So we're probably going to play, uh, you know, do a live stream game night Among Us. And, you know, everybody going to be lying and putting shit on my mama. I, I put it on my mama. I put it on my dead grandmama. It wasn't, it wasn't me, dog. That's what, it's going to be a whole lot of that. So, you know, we thought we'd, you know, boot up the Among Us, have a little fun. That's probably what we're, we're going to do. All right. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. All that good shit. Catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.